everyone welcome back to the channel another day another video hopefully everyone had a safe and happy holidays salsa got some presents uh, a new taco toy and a whole bunch of goodies this time and family even gave her a couple things like that little pink uh i don't even know what you even call it monkey so salsa's been a very happy girl it is thrift store day so let's get out thrifting going up the scran it's been a while let's do it Uh, yeah, three donuts. All right, at the thrift, check out these. These are the Nike Flight Posits. I think they're 2008. Now, these sneakers are worth a ton of money, um, but the big thing with sneaker people is uh, it's all about condition. This one has seen way better days. Lots of pilling over there. If you look at the heels on it, there's a lot of heel drag. So like the back three or four treads are just flat. Um, kind of crazy to see these in the thrift because they are really, really sought after and they're pretty hard to find shoe, but uh, I'm gonna leave this for someone who might be a uh, basketball guy. at the next thrift store. So I ended up passing on those sneakers. They were $25. They weren't on sale. Um, had they been 10 bucks, definitely would have grabbed them, risked it because I figured at low end you get $30, but I didn't want to spend 25 and then have to sell for 30. It's kind of a cool snap on jacket. Um, Swingster, one of the best brands out there for the vintage apparel, especially with the jacket stuff. It's up there with like chalk line. They make a really cool but there's no tag. They make really cool jackets, but there's no tag, no price. Um, if this was like a bigger logo, more appealing, I think I might ask about it, but it's pretty, pretty dirty. That might just be from the, the ground though. That's from the floor. That looks like just dust, but no tag. Does this not have a tag? Is there like a special tag for jackets? It don't look like it. Looks like they're supposed to be just a tag. Is that the top? I don't know. It's just not there. But it's probably like eight or ten bucks anyway. All right. Um, let's see if we find anything here. I love it with this store because they put all of their uh, sports stuff in one section. Ooh, is this what I think? Is this Rhode Island? Is this Rhode Island? That is not Rhode Island. Is this Rhode Island? That is also not Rhode Island. Is this is 76ers. It is, but it's like a promo jersey. They do have a rack here, but there's another guy who just stands here all day and looks at the racks. It's like every thrift store has one of those people. And uh, every time I come to this thrift store, this guy's always here, so. He already got first dib on that. I didn't see one thing on that rack that I wanted. Got a sweater. I am with my mom, actually. She's doing her sweater thing. We did Allentown yesterday, and she probably picked up 20 or 25 sweaters and quilts. Did really, really well. Um, I'm trying to find some stuff for myself. I do like that snap on jacket. Maybe I'll ask them. Kind of sad. A lot of the, uh, the shelves are just pure empty. And it's kind of crazy because don't you guys remember in the summer when I was trying to donate stuff, so many thrift stores would just not take donations. And it's just like, I knew this would happen. We'll get to a time where there's just no donations. Like, look, this is just empty. There's nothing here. And they wouldn't take donations during the summer. They were just like saying, no, we won't take it, which was like a first for any thrift store to be like, no, we're not taking donations. But there's just nothing here. It's kind of 
crazy. Some of these, like this hockey stick here, brand new. This thing was like $150. I think that came out. Let's see somebody word it. Somebody used this for street hockey. They split right down the middle. That's crazy. I don't know about this one. This one, somebody used it for hockey as well, but it's like $150 stick. Somebody used it for street hockey. One of the one things when I look at gray, gray is probably my favorite color to look at in terms of when it comes to t-shirts and stuff because you can always, always pick out the older clothes. I might grab this. It's like a homemade kind of thing. It's just so cool because like just the sizes are so different. The colors, this is an old Delta tag. USA made but it's just cool like this is I don't know if you'd really call it like just art but this would definitely sell especially if you have a crowd that loves vintage stuff they're going to pick up this kind of stuff that's different you know I do have a friend who does Penn State stuff my mom's going to freak out when she sees these they just came out of a rack look at this she's gonna freak out. i should probably get her <laughs> they're only 10 bucks she's going for you just get the <laughs> still to this day i don't understand how these things end up in pennsylvania branson missouri the all-time greatest childhood memory I've ever had. Well, that's arguably that that I can make an argument there, but uh, Branson, Missouri. Don't know how it always finds me, but it does. All right, music's and terribly loud. This is one thing with this store is like you always got to check the long sleeves if you're looking for sweatshirts. This one's kind of neat. It's got a bunch of dogs and they're in cowboy hats. That thing's actually pretty sweet. Oh my goodness, do I have to buy it? There's a good chance I have to buy that. They got old Salsa Dog in the red version, the red variety right there. They got the old Bulldog, German Shepherd. Uh, that's a, uh, not the old Yeller. What's that guy's name? I've got the, uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I think I'm going to grab this. Ooh, got some dirt stains over there. Also pick up this sweatshirt. Kind of getting loyal to the Ford brand, so we'll grab that. I really don't know why I'm buying that one sweatshirt, but I think this year, or <laughs> next year, I should say, I'm gonna focus on just trying to up my own closet. I feel like I wear the same exact clothes. I now mean, I had a Dale Earnhardt jacket on top of this. I'm just all Dale Earnhardt today. I don't know. It's only like two bucks. I mean, it's crazy how people like, I don't know, it's crazy people spend like $60, $70 on a t-shirt when you come here and get one for a whopping 99 cents. I'm not trying to be that guy, but I feel like I lose brain cells every time I come here with this radio so loud. What is this? I don't know, it's a new shirt because it's got a new tag on it. All right, so we made it back home. Salsa's taking her little nap. She just went outside. Uh, this was my favorite piece that I did not include. My camera actually ran out. This actually came from Goodwill, believe it or not. Stopped off at Goodwill, $6.95. It's a Goodwill tag. Um, this is a crazy score. So this is from, I think it was called Players Weekend. That's what I think the event is called. Um, it's only usually for or player series. Play, it's, I think it's players weekend. It's only used for one series out of the entire year. And uh, these jerseys are really hard to come by. I think the only way you can really buy one is if you buy it from the MLB store. And they aren't available for like the whole year. They're only available for a limited time. So to actually find one of these without buying one of them retail is kind of crazy. All right. Um, this, I think, is Houston Street. Now, if you look on the front, it is an Angels jersey. 
I don't know if their actual name is LA Angels of Anaheim. They used to be the Anaheim Angels. They have some sort of name. But there's really no knockoffs of these. It's more like if you want to go out and spend $150 or $200, whatever they cost, from the retail, from the MLB store, that's how you get one of these. This is, yeah, everything checks out to even show that is a real jersey. I mean, the stitching's good. The patch is good. I mean, you have a little loose thread there, but that always happens. Um, the patches up here are good. The lettering is good. It's a high-quality jersey. It's not like a piece of junk. Um, yeah, it, it's legit. Uh, but I have no idea what the value is on this. This is the first time I ever actually came across one of these in the wild. I remember the Players Weekend. It seems like they have this every single year they have uh, one of these events last year or two years ago, they all had white jerseys like one team wore all white and the other team wore all black and it looked terrible on camera. I mean, it was bad. Uh, this is back when they used to like reverse the colors. So I think this is around 2017. That's my assumption. And I'm just going to Houston Street just because that's his number. I don't know where Larry came from. Uh, I assume just based off of what this is that that's not just a custom jersey with somebody who said Larry. I think it's actually... But from retail, I also don't think it's a on-field. I don't think it's a game-worn jersey. Although these are very limited, I think there'd also be another patch on this sleeve that will look similar to this. But uh, that's very cool because we came, a lot of we came across a lot of cool things today. And here's my mom's quilt. She picked up two. They aren't antiques. And the reason why I can tell you that is because one has a tag that says Made in China. So if you're thinking, oh, that's a nice antique quilt, it's a quilt made to look like an antique, but it still serves its purpose that my mom needed. Um, she got a bunch of stuff. I picked up a jersey, a couple shirts. I also was going to pick up that pair of sneakers, which are called, I think they're called Nike Flight Posits. And the era, they might be 2008. The one thing with that store is there's no service like within... The whole store and maybe like a half mile radius of that store. It's really, really weird. But I just kind of knew it was probably like a hundred to hundred fifty dollar pair of sneakers used, but they had some serious wear. And at twenty five twenty five dollars, I thought it'd be a tough sale if I don't make the hundred dollar sale that I was hoping on it. Um, but yeah, I'm not a sneaker guru. I'm not into that at all. But I know that is a very good piece. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, enjoy thrifting, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, more treasure hunts going into the new year, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.